citizens protest against health pass. Thousands of French citizens demonstrated in several cities Saturday against the COVID-19 health pass that is now required to access most public places, including restaurants, cafes, sports stadiums, and gyms. The health pass shows that people are fully vaccinated, had a recent negative test, or recently recovered from COVID-19. The law went into effect last month and will require all French health care workers to be vaccinated by September 15. More than 141,000 people took part in Saturday's protests, including 18,425 in Paris, Ouest France reports. The number of protesters declined from nearly 160,000 last weekend and about 175,000 the weekend before that, according to the French newspaper. French President Emmanuel Macron said in July, when the health pass law was passed, that protesters are free to express themselves in a calm and respectful manner, but urged citizens to get vaccinated. What is your freedom worth? If you say to me, I don't want to be vaccinated, but tomorrow you infect your father, your mother or myself. Macron said in July. French protesters clash while protesting against mandatory health pass requirement for entering public spaces. The official data reveals that over 120,000 people came together on Saturday, protesting the government's decision to impose coronavirus health passes for entering public places like cafes and restaurants. The French Interior Ministry announced that out of 121,000 protesters, 19,000 were counted in Paris, where the police arrested 85 people and three police representatives were reported to be injured. People have been protesting against the matter for the ninth weekend in a row, although the official figures reveal that the number of participants has decreased in the last demonstrations. Furthermore, the official authorities revealed that 140,000 people participated in the protest last weekend, whereas there were 237,000 protesters in early August. Theu digital COVID-19 certificate or known as Health Pass in several countries, was initially established by the European Commission in a bid to offer safe traveling amid the pandemic as a joint platform to be recognized by all EU countries. The document is issued to those fully vaccinated with one of the vaccines approved by the European Medicines Agency, such as Moderna, Pfizer, Janssen, and AstraZeneca. In addition, people who have recovered from coronavirus are eligible to obtain the document, as well as those who have tested negative for the disease in the last 72 or 24 hours. According to the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, ECDC, 93.9% of Arguments over the COVID-19 Green Pass, as it's become known, are continuing throughout France. Around 200,000 people took to the streets to protest against any kind of government control that would limit access to public spaces. In Paris, a demonstration resulted in clashes with police. 
Personally, I'm not vaccinated and I won't be. It doesn't matter what we're forbidden from doing, going to stores, swimming pools, cinemas, it doesn't matter. Life is priceless. Freedom, that's precisely it. Freedom not to be vaccinated and not to give in to the government's blackmail. Across the border in Switzerland, opposition to Covid vaccines is not as strong, but still more than 4,000 people gathered in Lucerne to protest against any kind of vaccine restrictions. Like the demonstrators in France, they see such a policy as an attack on civil liberties. And in neighbouring Italy, there were two protests in Rome. One was organised by political groups opposed to restrictions on vaccinated people and the other by bar and restaurant owners. The Green Pass will be required in the country from August the 6th to enter most indoor public spaces.
Vanaf vandaag worden meer dan 2 miljoen Nederlanders systematisch uitgesloten van het sociaal maatschappelijk leven. Meer dan 2 miljoen Nederlanders mogen niet meer naar cafés, sportscholen, cafés, restaurants, theaters, mogen niet meer reizen, mogen geen hotels meer bezoeken. En dit... Dit gaat onze hele samenleving splijten. And I think it's okay when you can do, want to make a holiday or you need it somewhere. That's okay. That's okay. But I don't think uh, that uh, people in the horeca should be a, a kind of policeman. gathered in downtown today to have their voices heard as they fought the vaccine and mask mandates. The organizers called this a rally for medical freedom, celebrating faith, family and freedom. They started with a march through downtown, calling for demasking and no mandatory vaccines. They ended at the clock tower with a rally. The event was focused on personal autonomy and the personal choice of what is best for individual health. With four guest speakers, they claim this is not a two-party issue, but an American issue. They said they're at war with politicians in the pharmaceutical industry. An evangelical pastor led a sermon, freedom prayer, and worship song, and the crowd was all unmasked. Thank you. 